Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be covering the Clip Studio Paint Essentials. All right, let's get to sketching. So I'm gonna be using the colored pencil and I'm gonna zoom way in and I'm gonna start sketching a pose. So I'm going for more of a seated type of pose and I'm pretty much eyeballing everything. So when I'm drawing this sketch, I'm using long broad strokes, keeping things really simplified. But if you're having trouble, feel free to look up a pose off the internet or magazine or something that you like and just practice copying it and use that as reference. So I'm thinking of like a cross leg position with the arms stretched over the knees and stretched out where the fingers are kind of touching each other or grasping in a way. So I tend to draw the figure first with the pose that we can focus on the anatomy and get all the muscles and structures correct first. Then I can overlay the clothes over it. It makes it a lot easier when you break things into to two separate stages. Notice how the lines are still pretty good, even at this scale. Just worried about the anatomy for now. I feel like there isn't enough angle. Since we're looking above the character, there should be some diagonal lines like this. That will suggest that we're positioned above the character. So you notice, even with these more broad lines, it can get really messy really fast. That's why I want to make these long broad strokes and be very deliberate because if you start doing these smaller scratchy lines and you need to correct it as you go, you're going to start getting super messy. Let's block in some features for the eyes and the face. So I feel like the face is a bit low, so I'm going to move it up using the, la the lasso tool. So pressing L and just lassoing or drawing around the character, you'll see these marching ants, these little dotted lines or marching ants. And you can press V to move it up. Move for me is V, but I think by default, Clip Studio has it as K. Ears. Some hair. I'm thinking of like a, her hair's tied up. Kind of a messy knot going on because it's like winter and you're, you're always wearing your hoodie. Or maybe you got a beanie or, or some kind of hat. So that's pretty much it for our pose. A lot of this is pretty much placeholders. So it can be really messy because we're gonna go in later and clean it up with our inks. But next we're gonna add the clothes. But before we add clothes on top of this sketch, I'm gonna make a copy of this sketch. So there's a lot of ways to do this. Number one is you can lasso the drawing, control or command V to copy and paste, command control V, and it'll create a copy of that same layer automatically. So you'll have two, two copies. So one can serve as a backup if we ever wanna go back, if we mess up, because I'm gonna draw directly over this sketch so if I don't like it, I can always go back. Another way to duplicate the layer is just to be on the layer that you're on and just press copy and paste and it'll duplicate that layer. So many ways to duplicate your layers. So since I don't need these two, I'll just delete them. And to delete a layer is to open up that same menu and press delete layer or go to delete layer. Now to delete multiple layers is you hold on to shift and you can highlight multiple layers and then delete that way. So now we just have these two left. Now I forgot to mention, but it's probably pretty self-evident already to make your layers visible and to turn them on and off. It's just to click this eyeball here and it'll, it'll be hidden away from view. And I'm creating these multiple layers um, by copying and pasting, but to create a brand new layer without copying and pasting, it's the first little icon here. And you click this here many times you can make as many layers as you want so nothing's showing up because we haven't drawn on them so let's get rid of those now to undo just like when you're texting is to press command or control z and you press it multiple times in order to go back multiple steps 
All right, so now let's give her an outfit. And to do that, um, we can draw directly on the character. This will give us the ability to erase things that are being covered up, like the anatomy. Um, but if you want to make it a little easier and a little less and less messy, you can create another layer and draw on that, but you won't have the ability to erase what's underneath. So I'm on another layer, and if I draw on this layer and I'm trying to erase, it'll only erase what's on that layer. To help guide our eye and to make it less messy, we can lower the opacity or transparency of the layer underneath, which are the lines. So going to this layer, I'm gonna slide this slider here down, and that's gonna lower the opacity. Now I can focus just on the clothes. All right, so I'm just gonna draw the outfit right over the, right above the, the pose layer. I'm gonna give her a big old turtleneck. I'm gonna give her a big old collar, winter sweater, and a really big winter coat. So I'm pretty much done with the sketch for the girl, but it feels a, it's, it feels like it's missing something. So I think I'm gonna add uh, a dog, add a Shiba Inu, cute little doggy friend. Just is something to offset the picture a little bit. All right, so that's, that's pretty much it for our sketch. Added uh, a dog just to counterbalance the, the image. Seems like a lot of um, movement was going, going out in this direction with her arms. And if we put an object here, it'll stop our eyes from flowing out of the picture, creating a more circular, circular motion. So there's like a, a curvature to the dog and also the tail also swirls around and brings us back into the hand, back into the face, keeping us um, inside the, the picture. Something really simple. I know I just wanted to draw something simple for this tutorial, but we still want to make it fun and interesting. And uh, next we're going to ink the drawing, but before I do that, I'm going to add some blue tones so that I have something to share on my socials. Something that feels a little bit more complete. So on the layer underneath, I'm going to use a, an ink brush. And I use the ink brush so that it's really opaque. And that just means that we can't see through the the paint so it blocks it completely and it's not transparent unlike the the pencil brush it's really it's really uh, transparent so I'm just gonna block in some some shadows underneath using the ink brush as our shadow tool is a it's a great way to bring everything together it's a quick and easy way to bring all bring everything together and make a lot of the uh, objects look a little more clear so we're not worried about all the subtle tones and shifts and gradients and forms having just this two-tone kind of graphic shapes to guide the eye really helps to make everything make a little more sense and maybe this shadow here is a little bit too far off to the right so i'm just going to erase it out does it make sense for the light to be coming from the left and casting shadows on the left as well this is probably as far as i want to take it in, in terms of sketching we can go back in and put in details later so we'll pause here for now but we'll pick it back up in another video until then you can follow me on all the socials at the jetty jet show thanks for watching keep on drawing take care peace